Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. And as always, I am your host, Loco. Now, he is finally back. Nukes Top 5. We are going to be reacting to five scary ghost videos that make you paranoid. Ah, shh. Gosh darn it. <laughs> All right, yo. So, y'all know I love a bit of Nukes Top 5. This is going to be interesting. I haven't said a Nukes Top 5 since I wanted to drop last week. So, we're getting our Nukes Top 5 fixed today. As always, man, I hope you have a great Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Looney Platoon. You know what time it is. And I know what time it is. Let's do this, shall we? All right, Nukes top five time, fam. It's called Big Ghost. Good. Call on camera. Follower. Over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Franco. Frank is we definitely need to check out some Franco. Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee. We definitely need to check out some Franco TV. The hospital opened its doors in 1959 and housed sick and injured patients for nearly 40 years. Now, like pretty much any old hospital, the South Pittsburgh has a dark and tragic past. Hundreds of lives were lost inside its walls, and many witnesses claim that the ghosts of some of these patients still roam the hospital halls. Among the reported encounters, witnesses claim to have seen strange shadow figures, the spirits of wandering former doctors and nurses, the ghosts of children, and even repeated incidents of objects being thrown or moved by an unseen force. As Franco TV begins his overnight investigation, he begins to hear an overnight investigation noises. inside there. Oh, hell no. I'm actually getting some noises. What the hell is that? Wait, I'd be too scared to go there in case it's like. Some loony there. What? The chilling sound of a jingling bell echoes through the dark hallways. Franco eventually finds the small bell dangling in a hospital doorway, still mysteriously moving on its own. Dismissing the strange occurrence, he continues on to the well, hospital's I would be pharmacy. Able to dismiss that. It should be noted here that the hospital's current caretakers take great care to try to recreate what the hospital might have looked like okay. when it was in service. All right, so then. the shelves of the pharmacy are stocked with empty medicine bottles. Now, that may seem a little odd, but not nearly as odd as what happens next. Oh, wow. oh here we go. an in-house pharmacy. I have my night vision on the other side there. I'll be no, but you already know what I'm doing, bro. I'm dipping. I ain't staying there, bro. Go away. As Frank enters, several of the empty pill bottles unexplained oh, no. over and fall onto the floor. Hell no. Now beginning to feel a bit uneasy, Frank continues his exploration. Now checking out the hospital's former children's. Not ward. me, bro. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this. What, do you hear something? See oh something? And it's on. What the hell? Is that your horse? Do you like playing with the horse? I feel like this is like a child's spirit. I feel like I want you to leave. 
and it oddly got actually cold. Soon after the rocking horse incident, Franco finishes up his investigation, but later when he posts the video to YouTube, his viewers notice something that Franco didn't see. Oh no! Something downright chilling. Now throughout his investigation, Frank says that he feels like something is following him. I don't Turns want to out, see it, fam. He might have been right. Wait, that don't scare me. As Franco heads into one of the hospital rooms, his night vision camera captures a bizarre pale figure that seems to follow him inside. Could this be one of the patients that allegedly haunts the hospital grounds? Could it simply be a mist or a trick of the light? Let me know what you think down in the comments. To see more of Franco's investigations, check out his YouTube channel, Franco TV. Wait, the Reaper's warning. I didn't say Facebook nothing. User. I didn't say nothing because anything that would have come out of my mouth would have been nothing but swearing and cursing. But hell no. I'm taking my stuff and I'm gone, bruv. I'm dipping so quickly. I'll be looking like Flash. Boom, I'm gone, bruv. Hell no. Mr. Neri Kellerman is outside having a smoke when she sees her laughing neighbor standing on the ledge of the building next door. Neri starts recording as she asks her neighbor just what it is that she's doing. No, manches, that's loca. That's loca, verdad? No. After the incident, Neri Kellerman posts a video on her WhatsApp with the title, My Neighbor is Crazy. She got an odd, unexpected reply from. I didn't realize something was next to her, though. From one of her friends. Her friend Alan asks, Is it me? Or is there someone behind her? Neri is shocked to her core. That's why. Yo! She posts the video to her Facebook page. And when someone in the comments brightens up the video, things get truly bizarre. Nah. I did. No. No, my. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Hell no. Tell me that don't look like no witch. Well, hell no. No one can identify what the terrifying dark figure is, but some concerned viewers in the comments have speculated that it's the specter of death. Standing beside her neighbor, she's being a bit too careless while so close to the edge of the building. However, Neri Kellerman's neighbor is completely fine and did not get hurt. But just what do you think this ghastly figure is? The Grim Reaper, bro. Let me know down in the comments. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught on live stream. Young Twitch user Wesley and his friend Josh are streaming live on Twitch. Only a handful of people are watching and not much is going on. But things are about to take a turn toward the bazaar. Hello, bro. I'm from Argentina. Yo, what up, dude from Argentina? Minecraft, bro? He is. So am I. I thought I said something in the doorway. Wait, we're gonna go back. I know he's gonna show us, but I I, I wanna check this myself, right? Argentina, check you know here what? when the light Argentina. comes on. That, that, what is that? Minecraft, bro? He is. So am I. Yo, man in the background absolutely bricked it. What was that? What was that? I think it's it. Yeah, I got it. Get your phone. Um. Hold on. Let's check it out. Turn off the. Turn on the. Uh, turn on the light. Oh. 
bloody new Saturn was there, fam. The dog isn't in here. He's joking. Um. Uh. What was that? It was the cans. 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 Dude. Are y'all about to die? How do I end it? Wesley and Josh are startled by a loud bang, and Josh says that a chair in the room has inexplicably just fallen over on its own. I didn't nobody just see that door. Josh turns on the lights to investigate. Wait. The closet door Hell seems no. to mysteriously close, but neither of them notice. Wesley continues his game, but then. Several soda cans near them violently crash to the floor. Uh, I know these can be hoaxed. Obviously, they can have another friend in there. But their genuine reaction, they genuinely look terrified. And with that, uh, both of the guys... I'm going to let you guys decide just what you think. Right there. Now, one strange thing that I oh, noticed about that this video inside? is that when the sliding door closes, it looks almost as if a small dark figure... Or did I not point that out before the sliding door closes? I pulled that out at the start. Well, I'm going to have to buy me some cameras. I'm going to have to go on some ghost expeditions. I'm way soon coming. Soon coming, fam. Soon coming. It can be seen inside the closet. Now, this Why have I said that? Y'all gonna hold me to that now. In the video, <laughs> and remains completely motionless throughout. Now, of course, this could be one of their friends or a family member yeah, it playing could be. a prank on them. Or it could simply be fake. What? Why would the chair fall? Why Wesley would the camera acting here? They're good actors. It's a pretty impressive performance because they both seem legitimately freaked out. He bricked it there. And then his soul left his body right then. What was that? It was the cans. It was the cans. It was the cans. It was the cans. Hide and seek. I like the way that if something happens, us people, we're like, yo, it was just this. It was just this. It was just this. Like, I get it. It was just that. But how did it happen, bruv? How did it fall? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, if you believe in paranormal and that, then obviously that's what you're gonna, your first reaction is gonna jump to, right? It was paranormal. If you don't, you're gonna try to find an explanation as to why this certain event had happened. I don't know, man. I don't paranormal know. Paranormal explorer George Guerrero from the YouTube channel Caballero Paranormal is investigating an allegedly haunted house in Mexico that locals call, quote, the House of Souls. Bro, Mexico's mad haunted, right? claim that they are terrorized by the frequent paranormal activity inside their home. On a daily that, basis, what is it? La Llorona or whatever. La Llorona. Objects move or fall off shelves for no reason. That's really well Scariest known out all, there. They often see the frightful apparitions well, I've seen of quite a lot woman and a little of videos. This is a stock representation of you. Don't you look great watching sports? Girl. But I've seen quite George a lot of Guerrero videos. Has gotten permission from the family from to investigate the property and broadcast his experience live on social media. Once inside the home, George uses an odd-looking tuning fork to generate a high-pitched tone, hoping to get a reaction. He then asks the spirit to show itself. Oh, bro! I swear, I've got, something's gonna happen with that curtain, isn't it? So I see we're gonna poke its head round from that curtain, or it's gonna come running out of there. You, why do you do? Why do you do this? Los invito a que se manifiesten esta madrugada conmigo. ¿Dónde están? Quiero verles. When George doesn't get a reaction, he gives up on the instrument and walks around the property to explore. Then, this happens. What happens? What happens, bro? Oh, science hit you. Okay. Oh, you piqued my interest. My God. I can't this one earlier, but it's good.
Pero está igual. That's crazy, dude. Está igual como yo lo dejé. Something strikes a note on George's tuning fork back inside. But when he comes back into the room, it's still the same. there's nothing there. He feels as if the spirits are toying with him, perhaps poking fun at his little musical gadget. As George explores the house, he wrong for that spirit. With toys wrong scattered for that. across the floor. Pero bueno, o sea, tiene muchos juguetitos. De hecho, no, no hay este. No hay. Escuchen. <laughs> nope. Bro. No. No, bro. I. Bro, I'm either. I'm. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm either gonna freeze up out of pure fear. Or I'm running around like a headless chicken, screaming, getting the hell out of that place, bro. I'm not staying there, hearing a little giggle of what sounds like a little child. Hell no, bro. Not me. Oi, cabrón. Es en serio? Why are y'all doing that, fam? Escucharon? Why y'all do that all the time? Why don't you stop messing with me? George hears the unexplained giggle of a child coming from inside the house and goes to investigate. Why? And now, he captures something terrifying. Look guys, I know you are paranormal investigators, but there's times when you gotta just say, no, I'm out. Hi. What? Did you see it? No. George doesn't notice, but the little girl seems to be staring at him from the darkness. So did George capture the ghost oh, hell of the no, child bro. that allegedly yeah. haunts this house? What? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Watch your back. No, Nuke. You decide, fam. I, I don't want to decide anymore. Um, oh my god, that kind of creeped me out a little bit. Ghost children and stuff like that. There's something just extra creepy about it. I don't know why. In another live stream, this time on Facebook, Australian YouTuber Filthy Investigates explores an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. During Filthy's live investigation, why do people always go alone, bro? Activity other than some voices and unexplained noises. But at around one hour and forty minutes in, a lot of noises though they could just be because it's an old abandoned house, right? So a lot of noises you'd have to think maybe that's just a house maybe like the creaking on the floorboards and stuff like that or pipes and stuff you know so i'm intrigued to see what watch your back this is this is what's called okay and filthy accidentally captures something truly terrifying as he gets up and heads to take a look at the house's attic no, his bro, live man. facebook viewers notice something right behind him what do you mean <laughs> without filthy noticing a large dark figure moves swiftly behind him without a sound facebook viewers quickly comment on filthy's live stream to warn him and even though he sees the comments he doesn't seem to believe them but i ain't got in that i ain't got in that i'm glad you marked that it isn't until he rewatches the spooky moment later that he is shocked by what he captured so is this a ghost caught on camera? Is it just a strange trick of the light? You decide. Thanks for watching for more of Wait. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I believe in paranormal, I do, right? I just, my thing is, as I try not to believe in everything that everyone posts, I don't know why though. Maybe so I can sleep better at night. <laughs> but oh, I enjoyed this video, man. This was sick. That little girl though, no, bro. That you, you got me all types and messed up. If you think I'm staying there, bro, hell no. I am dipping. I am. I'm doing blowing that place up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yo, man, I enjoyed the video. Like I said, bro, I did enjoy this video. I always enjoy Nuke's Top 5s. There are some things sometimes that he shows you and I'm just like, uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe it is true. Maybe it's not true. 
but that's not to say that I don't believe in whatever it is. I'm just saying half the time the people that make the videos are a bit sketchy. But the one with the kids though, I don't know about that. It could, like we, like Nuke said, it could be a friend or a family member playing a prank on them, but their reactions look genuine, right? Let me go ahead and let me know what your favorite clip was. If you got any videos you want to see me react to, then go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comments below. Oh, Nuke's back. And he drops another one tonight, so we'll be getting that ready, sorted out for some point this week. As always, man, stay safe, stay blessed. I've been your host, Loco. And I'm out. Love you, fam. Ciao.